Some people say we're all connected, all part of some bigger picture, some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my own wavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All win. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. I'm sorry, mate, that's much right. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her? Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit.
to get signed? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favor. Oh, I know you're good for your favors. You can bank my favors. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. 200. Okay. 300. But it... You said 200 way too quickly. Look, would you rather be 700 up or a grand down? I'm trusting you, yeah? It's not free. 200 in cash tonight. Ah, look, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? Nothing. Look, you're not taking the car, right? Do I look stupid? Yes. Yes, clearly I do. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked me in the first place. Good night. Bus stops that way. Fine. Have a good evening, freak. A myriad of possible decisions, and I pick the one that ends in me being a freak. Well done. Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. The security guard pay you enough to be a hero. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do.
back here. the guy from the car park. Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. South Kent, please, mate. Look, something's come up I need to take care of first. Oh, fucking hell. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Who's the baggage? It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. A couple of weird dreams, this will all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. So what's the plan? This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and I try and turn him in? Do I keep my mouth shut?
ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choice are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. So for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is 950 grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep it powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red there. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, price, don't On the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these choice are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? The odds are not good. Nine I'm looking for. Price increases on a logarithmic. All I mean, around the room. On zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you. Very the much. chance of getting away with another nine business. Million. So do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine million once. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right for nine million pounds. Thank you very much, sir. 
Congratulations. Only three percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%. Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? How did I end up here? You did well, stopping mailing like that. Don't know what I've gone into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, use the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. 085209, okay? Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. I'll take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. Yeah, 
definitely shouldn't lie. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bulb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until it gets Wu's place and turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some shortage high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. This sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei-Ling. Mei-Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Away from here. Where are we going? We're going to take this bolt to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are, are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? You were seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security guard and I'm bringing the ball back. You're an accessory, plain and simple. Watch me. Under arrest. Not yet. 
You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. Will you be the judge of that, sir? Like you said. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. So it seems. Exploding vans, mysterious Chinamen. You know what I think? I think you're up to your balls in this. But you got scared. And now you're trying to lie your way out. I'm telling you the truth. Anyone to back you up? No. No, everyone else in the van was killed in the accident. Again, convenient. Now, why don't you tell me why you stole this bowl and who you stole it for? I told you. It was for this guy, Mr. Wu. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch. That's all I know about him. <clears throat> Tony Wu is sitting in the room right next to us. And he's very convincingly denied any involvement in your little enterprise. In fact, when we told him what you stole, he nearly stopped breathing. Any thoughts? Do you know who the Choi family are? Because Tony Wu does. And he knows fine well not to fuck with them. I think you didn't realize that until after you stole the bowl. And now you're sitting here, shitting yourself. Looking for a way out. I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... A between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson, I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you let me rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, I really don't know where it is. Tell it to your solicitor. <laughs> Vehicle 721 in position on City Road. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Clive, you see this?
Where is it? I don't know. Look, I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where's the ball? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us, the rightful owners, about what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh, look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball. Or Disrespect will be punished. Now for the final time, where is the ball you took from the auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original ball that you stole. Where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. What have you tell? What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I, I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? A as far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. Hey, Gong Mei, who am I to see? Go down, where are you? You don't have to go to me. Gong, where are I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Bowl equals pain. The longer you have bowled, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! Fucking hell. No, I haven't got your fucking rice ball, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tell the truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma, game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one. choice very honorable death one turn and it twists your intestines like a key death comes slowly over a long long time <gasps> great where is the bowl the original bowl can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. 
There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Daiwa. Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? <laughs> Fuck. She followed the strategy. If I get this wrong, then Malin gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. Let me bounce out you.